Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away and we now got issue 94 of Eagle Moss's build the DeLorean. Okay, in this issue, as you can see, we're doing a bit more of the headlights at the front of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, I've got the car here, uh, because we're going to need that as well. And I don't want to lug it from all the way over back there over here. So that's going to be just off camera just for a second. Let me show you what we're doing. As you can see here, we've just got a couple of bits which are going to be going on this bit that we were working on last time. Looking just like that. Uh, and we'll get this lit up this time as well, so you can see what that looks like. Uh, so all we're going to do is going to be putting the bottom dressing on that. Uh, putting the grill over it. Putting this onto the front of the vehicle, which means I'm going to have to change the cameras around just so you can see that really good. Connecting the wires, uh, uh, checking that they're all lipped in correctly, and then uh, screwing it all in. And then I'm going to try the wires out. Just try the power out so you can see the lights. So uh, this should be easy if they light up. If they don't, this could be a seven hour issue. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so step one, what we're going to do is we've got this little black part here looking just like that. Uh, and this is the... A uh, bit that we worked on last time and this is basically going to be going just on the bottom uh, it's, it's the base it's the dress sort of thing if you like uh, it's going to be going into these ports just like that there now as you can see we've got two holes one there and one the other side and they're just going to correspond with the two oh, let's just put that down on here this one here this one here and they've got little pegs in each side oops there and there so uh, it's pretty easy to see how they go in so let's put these in now so they're lined up now the good thing about this is that uh, all the screws that we're going to need to put in this come in this pack. Uh, what they've given us this time are DM screws, looking like that. And they gave us IP screws, looking like that. And the ones that it wants us to put in is the DM screws. So let's get them open, pour them out. And we're going to be securing this with just the two screws that go in these two holes, uh, just I mentioned before. So here's the first one going in. Nice and easy. So peeps, what did you think of me uh, stream? on Thursday. I'm hoping to do that again every Thursday. So uh, if you did miss it, it is on VOD or Video On Demand on YouTube so you can see that again. Uh, but I'll be doing the next one this Thursday starting at 8 o'clock. Which is pretty much uh, when I wanted to start it uh, last time. I was a little bit late though uh, this time. But I will make sure I'm there for well, just before 8 o'clock. So we are ready to start when that comes in. Thought we had some fun in that actually not just talking about models we're chewing the fat on everything to be honest with you so <laughs> so anyway once that's in that should look like show you on the top camera just look like that excellent so that was step one done now step two we've got this grill but nothing else in here so we can chuck that looking just like that we've got bigger holes at the top show you on that camera smaller holes on the bottom uh, the way around this goes is with the bigger holes on the top it doesn't matter which way it goes uh, but that's just going to be fitting in just like this on there just like that absolutely perfect uh, and i'm guessing these are really going to be small screws aren't they so nope the top holes are going to be dm screws the bottom holes are going to be ip screws this is step two and three so this is going to be a lot of screwing <laughs> so let's get the uh, top ones in first to be honest with you this is probably the really easy bit because i can see mounting this to the vehicle it's going to be the hard bit. I don't think the illumination and the wires is going to be an issue for me because truth be known I've already tested it. <laughs> now a lot of people say that uh, they've got the connector wires coming out the wrong side of their headlights here. Let me just talk about that once I've got the last one in. See I've got mine coming out the right hand side here which is exactly what the instructions told us to do and the only reason why I think you'd have it that way is if you followed the numbers way back in issue I don't know what was it 50 40 rather than the colors and I think that's what's causing the confusion but to be honest with you it doesn't really matter because if you have got it in the wrong way just switch them around it's not going to make a blindest bit of difference when this is on the vehicle but uh, I've got it in the way that it's told us to put it in uh, on the image here and puts in. So the bottom four screws are the little, the, the smaller ones. This is the IP screws. So this is held in by eight screws in total. So we get this one in. To be honest with you, the IP screws go in a lot better than the DM screws, <laughs> which is a bit crazy. Okay, here's the uh, next one going in here. Going in a lot better. <laughs> uh, issue 
90, what what did I say this was? Issue 94. Issue 95 will be at, uh, back on time again next week. So uh, if I am streaming in the uh, in the evening at 8 o'clock, then you can guarantee that issue 95 will be out a long time before that. Uh, the other videos I've got coming is the uh, pack free of Valentino Rossi's uh, M1, which I really am enjoying building at the moment. Uh, but once that's in, that's all the screws in now. As you can see, you've got the uh, mesh at the bottom there. Looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got to get ready to actually secure this to the front of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the best camera angle uh, to show you what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm going to be using this side camera here. And what it wants me to do is to just to position this where it's going to be going, which is going to be just here, because we're going to be connecting some of these wires up. Now, the wires we've got here to connect up, we've got, just having a look, we've got the red and the uh, uh, white one here, and we've got the red and the yellow one here. So what we're going to be doing, uh, following the instructions in step five, I believe this is, is just connecting the light colours up. So the red and white is going to be going into the red and white of this one. Let's connect that now. Make sure you put them around the right way. Oops, uh, get in there. All right. There we go. So that's the first one in. That's the red and white's connected. And now we're just going to be doing the same to the red and yellow. Okay, making sure we put this in the right way. I'm being very quiet with this because the last thing I want to do is bend any pins. <laughs> There we go, and that's the red and yellow in. And then uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is put this on the vehicle, making sure that these flaps are underneath the section here, so it's gonna be fitting absolutely perfectly, and we're gonna be bolting this on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this on, try not to trap any wires, just so we can get this looking a little bit tidier. There we go, and that's fit on pretty perfectly there. As you can see that, got a nice little gap here, but obviously that's going to go when I start securing it. I'm just looking at these bits at the bottom. Now these uh, little flaps at the bottom need to fit under the wings. Now, to be honest with you, oh, there we go. They do, uh, I'm just trying to see if any camera can see that. You can probably just about see it on the top camera uh, that they're fitting under the wings. And then all we've got to do is secure this with DM screws to the very front of the vehicle. Now, this is held in by three screws. So I'm gonna put the middle one in first, which just goes in just here. And then I'm gonna be working on getting all the other ones in. Now you can just about see it on the side cameras. The holes these go into are the bigger ones here. So you've got this hole here, this hole just in the middle here, and this hole on the far side. I've got the screws in, but I haven't tightened them up yet. So I'm gonna just tighten them up now while I'm talking to you on camera. And as you tighten them up, you're gonna notice that the uh, the gap, as you can see, has actually disappeared. So let's do the middle one. That one's in. And then the last one, just on the far side here. That's that one. I'm probably gonna use a bigger screwdriver to do that last time, but I just wanted to show you that that's the front of the vehicle completed there. And then I think the last thing we need to do is show you what the lights look like. So uh, make sure you've still got these yellow things out because at the moment these are uh, <laughs> still got to be sticking out. Matter of fact, that one's probably gonna need to be poked back in for me. It doesn't need to be sticking out that far. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll turn this on with me uh, power at the bottom. And I think it's, uh, might be number six, the one nearest the flux capacitor. Let's have a look. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, that's the lights on and off, on and off. As a matter of fact, I'll try and record that on my phone. I'll probably give you a better idea of what that looks like. And as you can see with the headlights on, this is just on my phone here. That's what that looks like. Now, some people have uh, frosted the front um, lights there just to make them look a bit more smoky and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? What do you think of that, peeps? Okay, so that's it. What we got left to do? Well, those little yellow lights that were just hanging around doing nothing, as you can see, we need to put a fascia on those, and that's coming in issue 96. Did I say 96? 95. That's coming in issue 95. That should be the front end of the vehicle completed then. Uh, I guess we're going to be getting to work on all this back section over here with the uh, vents and stuff. That'll probably be coming soon. Uh, people keep asking me what we got coming in the next few issues. And you got to remember that this is going to be kitted out to look like the Back to the Future 3 vehicle as well. So uh, you can see where these other 30 issues are going to go. Anyway, hope you like that video. Take care.